Hi everyone, I'm here in Kalini Hill. Sorry about the camera shaking. It's the most gorgeous, gorgeous day. And listen to that beautiful bird song. I'm just doing a quick twirl around. I'm going to go to one of my favorite spots here, which is just off the beaten track. And it's leading to a little ledge, which is, um, out it goes it's got a beautiful viewpoint and um, looks out over the sea in Kalini Hill and uh, it's also said that this is where WB Yeats used to come to do some writing so I'm just um, just bringing you with me I brought my daughter Jen today she's gonna help with the tripod and stuff so I'm just going to set up very soon over here but here we are it's just opens out here onto the, the view of the sea and the sea is like a milk pond today, it's just beautiful. So we have Kalini, uh, Dorky Hill rather in the background <coughs> and Dorky Island and on the other side the beautiful sea and the other side is Kalini Bay. So I am going to set up here with my daughter carrying the tripod. Um, I'm going to find a little ledge or maybe some rocks here and I'm going to start to paint. I'm going to paint um, Dorky Castle, you can hardly see it on this, and come right down to Dorky Island. And I'm going to put some of the gorse in the front. And also I've spotted some wild garlic, so they are beautiful. your battery is a little low. Oh my god. Paint <laughs> <Think> faster. <laughs> okay. This is a, sort of a dry brush now that I'm here. I'm doing this. So what colour are you mixing there? Um, that's, it's actually um, a sap green, I think. Well, you were just doing the palette, right? Mm. The, the book to suit the direction that I'm working in. Yellow course. I'm using just rolling the brush like that, very much dry brush. Going back to the sap green, a little bit of the ultramarine there, and I don't want to overmix it. I've got good, decent colour on there. Starting off. That tree is going to merge with the little bit of wetness there that's on the palette 
Um, and you can see that I'm leaving quite a lot of light areas. Much more organic green. Yellow ochre is also lovely to add into green. Just, just put a touch of yellow ochre. It's a lovely, very organic, <laughs> again, organic technique. Um, it's a nice way of getting colour I'm going to switch to yeah, I'm doing well. It's actually a, a coloured pencil. So, to, mm. so indicate very, I mean, I, this is not going up. orange in there so the idea here is while that's still dry I want to get a, a little bit of an edge on there because there is a hill in behind that and what I might do is um, back in the studio do the gorse maybe a little bit more over so you don't want green in it So I'm going to go back to my cobalt, I think. The horizon is actually so soft, it's so misty, but I just need to indicate the horizon. Wintry. This is just enough to remind me of the sketch. I can take photographs and I can look at um, other reference. But interestingly, what I'd like to do is just when you look at that, so much in that with a minimum amount of marks and yet it says so much so the trick to painting I think whether you're painting in oil or watercolor is less is more um, see how much uh, see how little you can get away with 